Hello everyone, it's Mikhail here and you are in the Marvelous Met. This is another video of the series uh, of uh, introduction to RStudio. And in this video we are going to talk about uh, functions. So the, the basic idea of function is uh, in mathematics. And you may have you might have studied something uh, about that. So, for example, you can have f of x equal y, and then we say that x is the input of the function, and then the function gives you y as the output. And uh, we have a really uh, similar idea here. So let's see how. How is the structure for functions in RStudio? So let's call it my function. And then that's the name, is the same way you name a variable. Uh, and then when you call it, you will call the same way as well. You will use the name to call the function. Uh, so you give a name to it and then you use the word function and then here you need to uh, create the variables you want to use to receive the input for for your function so uh, let's say we want to uh, just print something so we will uh, just use a variable called uh, string and uh, then we open brackets and we print uh, string and uh, we can uh, now execute this so you can see here you have uh, the lists of functions you have my function uh, but you you don't have a variable called a string because everything you do inside of the function uh, it's it's not saved in the global uh, script so uh, if you want to save something uh, you need to use return and that's actually more uh, a more proper way of using functions using a return because uh, because the idea of the function is to have a uh, output right but in this case we are just starting so let's keep the way it was and now let's call uh, our function uh, so my function and then here we need to give a uh, something a variable for or something for the function to print so let's just give a string let's say print this and and then we run this line and see what happened so it will just print what we the the input we gave to the function now let's do uh, a function that will actually return something so let's uh, make a function called add two numbers and uh, it will receive as input two numbers so n1 and n2 uh, actually i am uh, using the right construction so it is the number of the function and then you, you write function and then uh, here goes the variable here go the variables that we receive the uh, input and then what we do with these numbers we add them but we will also return the result so we can do return and then we can add inside so n1 plus n2 and then uh, now we our first run this function now we have another function here on our list of functions and we can use this one 
add two numbers. Now we need two numbers, so two and three. Uh, and then now the function is uh, return something, so let's call this variable result. And then let's use our pre previous function to print the variable result. So my function result. So let's uh, run these two lines. So what happened? It printed five. That is the result of the addition of uh, numbers we gave here, two and three. Now, uh, just to practice a little bit more, let's do another function. Let's call uh, add the first n numbers so uh, let's just call our variable n and then this will uh, receive the number n and uh, so what we want here is to add the first n number so let's say if n is 10 then we want to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so from 1 to 10 we add all the numbers and to do that we can use a loop so for e y i in 1 to n let's call add m as our variable let's initiate it as zero and then now uh, add n will be equal add n plus i so this should add all the numbers from one to n and uh and then after we finish the loop we need to return uh, the result so add n and uh now we have uh, created a function and uh we can run it so let's use it directly inside of our previous function to print the result so uh my function and then we can copy and paste it here and uh, let's say that we want to uh, add the first five numbers so let's see if this works so uh the first the addition of the first five numbers is uh 15. And you can make the the calculation to make sure uh that's that's right uh, and if we change it here uh if we do uh then that should work just fine as well uh so that's uh is a very basic introduction to uh, functions. Uh, now uh, I will give a little exercise that uh, I am going to solve in the next video. So here is the exercise or the challenge of the code. Uh, so the idea is to create a function that receives two days of the year as input in the format month uh, and day the function should then generate a vector with a list of all the days in between those two days it should also receive a third variable as input in this case a boolean true or false that will be used to choose if the two days given as input should be included in the list so for example if the input is January 5, 
January 10 and false. Then uh, the the output should be just the days in between as they are here. Um, and because it, the option chosen was false, it should not include uh, the the two days. So not not January uh, five, not January ten. Then uh, as a hint. If you don't know how to create a list of days of the year, you can refer to the previous video uh, where it's it's shown how uh, you can uh, create a list. In, in that video, there is the way it's shown the way to create a list of all the days of the year, and then you can use that in your function uh, to return just the days you want to return. So that's it for this video, thank you for watching and I see you in the next video.